don't know if Mando's very good here. But they have triple AP. I feel like it can't be too bad. Alright, let's do it. Uh, this game's gonna be kind of weird, guys. I can feel it. I think Mundo's pretty good here, actually. You know, honestly, I think Mundo's better than Urgot here. Victor's annoying if they're aggro. Yeah, I'm sure this guy will be pretty aggressive. He's going first strike, too, so if anything, he's gonna just farm me out. But I do have some pressure if I land Cleavers. I can also try to run him down with approach. Wow, he's going bone plating into Mundo. Interesting. Oh man, my team went for the late invade. Usually late invades go well, like every time. That's not a good sign. Dr. Mundo game in, yeah. They banned my Urgot this game, sadly. Well, I don't know if it's sadly. Like I said, Urgot into Victor is pretty painful anyway. I think I can do better with Mundo. That looks actually really good. I'm gonna push you. By the time I get over, they're gonna be under turret. My first Mundo game of the season, technically. Zon, perfect place to do medicine. Everyone sit there. I don't think that's gonna go well, my dude. I don't know. Their mid is just gonna come over eventually. Okay, their mid's not coming over. These guys are weak, actually. I can tank them. Wow. Alright, well played, man. Good call. These guys are so weak early game. Victor, Vigar. Also, my wave is good, too. This is crazy. Crazy start for us. Hey, that's what they get for banning their god, dude. Imagine if I was playing Urgot there. I would not be able to stick to those guys. I would probably get one kill. You have to be a little bit careful here, though. Wait, executed? He just died to chickens. Gotta be such a tilty.
This matchup feels really nice, actually. I might just start picking this in a victor. If I know it's a victor top, which I guess is kind of rare. Kind of rare to see victor top as a blind pick. That. Whoops. Well, that's a nice first back. tonight are crazy they have been pretty crazy man i love these placement games i love the new i love the start of the new season the games are just more fun everyone's just trying so hard to win it's so much more fun than preseason whoa what is this irs cane skin Random tax? Doctor, doctor, this is how we doctor. Dude, I don't have ulti. Alright, good play, but he still didn't need he didn't need to take the cannon wave. Took my whole wave again. Oh well, at least I got the kill. He's probably a little bit salty that I got the triple kill in the jungle. Careful, dude. I'll TP back. We can just hard pressure this guy. If he stays, he probably won't. In that case, we should be able to get a plate for sure. Yasuo's popping off too. Just bot lane. We got to be a bit worried about this game. I never really expect my bot lane to win against Caitlyn Lux though. That lane is kind of just guaranteed win lane. This matchup feels great, man. I know I'm fed, but I could probably do that without being fed. Being fed just makes it easier. I 
thing about Victor, he just doesn't have like consistent damage to kill me. At least in the early game. Maybe way later he will. Try to steal this. Alright, let's go. Let's see. What are we gonna get this game? They got triple AP. I think Mercs and a Spear Visage sounds really good here. Dude, Force of Nature could be good too. They buffed that item pretty hard. But Spear Visage is too good on Mundo. I'll get that first for sure. I kind of want to go damage this game actually, since we're getting fed. Either like a Titanic or Sterax, I think would be pretty nice. I think Titanic would be nice this game. Dang, nice. It's a blue cane for ya. How do you decide what team comp is good or decide which champ would benefit the team the most? Um, there's a lot of factors for that. To be honest with you, it's kind of a hard question to answer. It kind of just comes with playing the game for a long time and just knowing like what combos are good. And knowing whether champions do like AP, AD, mixed damage. Knowing which champs like to engage, stuff like that. Like when I'm playing Urgot, for example, I like to see champions that can engage for me, that I can play off of. Got the cleaver. I can run through his cage with passive. It's a really good pick into that guy. Dude, the Mundo pick is actually insane here. It's good for the lane. It's good out of the lane, this game. I gotta thank him for banning Urgot this game. Feels good to have a good Mundo game, though. I've been having a lot of rough Mundo games, because we've been getting counterpicked. I really don't think Mundo's a good blind pick at all. At least in Diamond. He has a lot of counters, and if they go Ignite too, it's just like impossible to play the land compared to other tanks. Who counters Mundo? Uh, Kled is really good. Kled, Camille, anything that can run Ignite, like Ignite TP is going to do pretty good against him in lane. Fiora is really good as well. I really is pretty good. And a lot of those champs are meta right now too in top lane. He actually has a lot of tough matchups for a tank. He's a really good, like, situational pick, though. We must be good, doctor. Patients never come back. There's also people... There's more people running Ignite now, too, in general. After the TP change. Which does make things a little bit tougher.
Why is there a many predator up here on my screen? <laughs> Do you guys see that? Oh wait, it just disappeared. What the heck? There's a floating predator. I thought it was like a Zoe bubble or something. You know what? Let's go Titanic third. I don't see how they're going to kill me with a Spirit Visage Sunfire combo. 170 MR into triple AP. I guess Caitlyn will do damage. Caitlyn does a little bit of damage, but other than that, dude, I'm so tanky. You've been seeing a lot of visual bugs recently? I have too, man. There's been like these orange squares everywhere. That's like the main one that I see. Look at their damage on me, dude. I'll just tank this. Mac. What a raid boss, man. Oh, nice. She gonna snipe me? Thank you, sir. I don't want to give a thousand gold shutdown. Sorry, dude. I feel kind of bad. I'm gonna try to save him. Oh, just kidding. Well, he died a hero at least. That's so nice being able to run through Vigar Cage. That's so crazy. Yeah, I gotta say, dude, I'll probably be playing some more Munda this season for sure. I'm just not gonna be blind picking very much, but I think into a lot of ranged top laners. I think I should pick him more for sure. Especially mage top lens. Yeah, that's true. Getting counter pick is kind of rare in top lane. I've been kind of lucky recently. I've been getting last pick a lot. But that is pretty rare for sure. I really like Mundo though, dude. I like how chilly is compared to Ergot. I feel like I can make a little bit... I feel like I can make little mistakes, and it's not too bad. Obviously, if you make big mistakes in League, no matter what champion you play, you're going to have a pretty tough time. That's just the type of game League is. But on Urgot, even if you make a lot of little mistakes, especially since you don't have sustain, you just fall behind quick. But with Mundo, you can kind of make those little mistakes and be okay. Yeah, I was trying to go for the 1v5. I can't believe I'm 3 item at 20 minutes. And these items are expensive, too. How do I feel about Trundletop? Uh, he's okay. He's a good 1v1 split push champ. 
His 1v1 is strong, but he does have some big weaknesses. I don't mind playing versus Trundle. Caitlyn does hurt a little bit. Not gonna lie, you're not a fan of the new icons and loading screens and the rank borders. Yeah, I don't really care about them either. I mean, they don't look terrible. I like how the challenger one looks. I think the challenger icon looks sick now. But all the others are just like fine. guys are doing, Baron? Is that gonna work? I'm just gonna distract these guys. They have no idea. Good luck trying to kill me, guys. That was such a satisfying E. Always pick up that passive on Munda. Honestly, dude, in a game like this, we'll get a Starex too. Might as well. They're not gonna kill me. I know, being fed on Mundo's the best, dude. You really do just go where you please. I mean, what do you want me to do, bud? He literally just jumped in. I don't even have my ulti. I should have ran over that Victor W. Tanking. Dude, I'm not used to having that much damage. I think I'm dead. Actually, I need one camp. Mountain Soul would be perfect, dude, man. That shield's gonna be massive. Doesn't it scale off your bonus HP? Oh, it scales off a lot of stuff, actually. Wow. I thought it was just bonus HP, but it scales off damage and ability power, too. Oh, wow, your passive blocks the uh, dragon thing. The dragon knockback. So we get a 526 shield. That's massive, actually. It's like a complete Lux ulti right now, probably.
Okay, that stair actually was huge. Item actually feels good when you're playing a melee champ. GG. Well, dang, man, we're definitely going to have to play some more Minda, I'm thinking. Into those type of matchups, anyway. Oh, y'all see, I played really well, too. Plus 37. It's going down a little bit. That's game five of the placements. Four and one so far. Good stuff. Read by chains.